Hi everyone! Assalamualaikum and a very good day. I hope everyone is staying safe and staying healthy at home. Today we are going to continue with our English lesson. We are still in our second topic which is let's play. Today we are going to do, I have prepared some very interesting activities that I'm sure you would really like. So I hope that you can join together with me in our lesson today and we are going to learn and have fun together. Alright, so today's video is separated into three parts. So let's look at what those parts are. So part one, what we are going to do first is we are going to play some guessing game. Alright, and then after that, in part two, we are going to learn about Chinese tangram. Hmm. Have have you have you heard of that Chinese tangram? Okay, if you haven't, make sure you stay tuned and let's find out together. And then in the final part, which is part three, I'm going to show you how to complete your task uh, in your English module for your PDPR at home. So make sure you watch the video to the end so that you will understand how you can complete your task at home in your English module PDPR. Okay, so without further ado, let's go. Alright, so before we go to our lesson, uh, just a brief look at what we are going to learn today. So, our content standard for today is 5.3, which is to express an imaginative response to literary text. And our learning standard for today is 5.3.1, which is to respond imaginatively and intelligibly through creating simple art and craft products. So today, we are going to do some craft, arts and craft. Hmm, fun. Alright, so let's look at what you will be able to do today. So the learning objective of today is that you or pupils will be able to respond imaginatively and intelligibly, intelligibly through creating simple art and craft products by A. Follow the instructions and form a boat using all the seven pieces of Chinese tangram. Alright, and then B. You will also be able to create your own animals or objects. You can choose either one using all the seven pieces of Chinese tangram. Alright, so these are the learning objectives of today. Alright, so let's go to our guessing game. Alright, so let's continue with our guessing game. So, in this guessing game, I am going to show you three pictures or three silhouettes. And I would like you to guess what each picture resembles. Alright, so let's look at the first picture or first silhouette. Alright, so there it is, the first picture or the first silhouette. What do you think it is? What does it look like? I'll give you five seconds to guess. Alright, so what's this? Okay, ready? Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you get the answer? It's a did you get it right? Alright, so let's look at the second picture. Hmm. What is that? What's this? What do you think it is? What does it look like? Alright, so again, I'm going to give you 5 seconds to guess what the picture is. Okay, here's a clue. It's an animal. It's a bird. 
But what kind of bird it is? What kind of bird is it? Alright, so 5 seconds to guess starting now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Did you get it? You know what it is? It's a penguin. Did you get it? Did you get it right? Okay. If you if you get it wrong, it's fine. We have one last picture for you to guess. All right. So let's look. Okay. This is super easy. I'm sure everyone can get it right. Okay. So what is this picture? Can you tell me? All right. So guess what this picture is. I'll give you 5 seconds to guess and then we'll see what the answer is together. Alright, ready? 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, it's a house. Did you get it right? Okay, how many of you got all 3 of the pictures? right okay good i'm wow you're very smart all right so that's it for our guessing game so we will continue with our second part of the lesson which is chinese tangram okay good job yay all right so let's go to our next uh, next part so, why do you think I gave you this silhouettes? Why do you think we have these pictures in our guessing game? So, these are the three pictures that we used just now. Okay, so let's look. I'm going to show you something is interesting. Okay, these shapes are actually made out of different pieces of Chinese tangram. Alright, so look at that. Yay! So what are these? Like I say, these are Chinese tangrams. Okay, so what are Chinese tangrams? Teacher, I know, I know you say Chinese tangram, So, but what, what is Chinese tangram? Alright, so be patient, be patient. I'm going to tell you what it is. Alright, so Chinese tangram. Okay, Chinese tangram or qi chiao ban. In Chinese is China's most famous puzzle so this are uh, Chinese tangram is actually a toy a puzzle that you can play with all right so if you see in the picture so the this black this black pieces here and this book uh, are parts of Chinese tangram all right so Chinese tangram, tangram or qi chao ban, it means seven ingenious pieces. Alright, so to play the game, uh, you actually have this Chinese tangram and it has seven pieces. Alright, so the puzzle consists of seven flat pieces of different shapes. Alright, so let's look at what are the shapes. And how many uh, shapes do they have in a Chinese tangram? So, so Chinese tangram is a, a collection of seven flat pieces and a collection of simple outline diagrams or silhouettes. So, in the picture here, you can see the seven pieces of the puzzle. Okay, we have seven pieces here. So, one, two, three, four, five. 6 and 7 Alright So the puzzle consists of 2 big triangles Okay, so 1 2 2 big triangles It also has 1 medium sized triangle Can you find where it is? It's there Okay, that's 1 medium sized triangle And we also have Two small triangles, alright? Two small triangles. One, two. Two small triangles. Okay. 
we also have one square can you see that one square and finally we have one parallelogram all right parallelogram so which one is that it's the blue one here okay so these are the seven pieces of puzzles that we use in Chinese Tangram, okay? Hmm, but what are we going to do with all these seven pieces of puzzle? It doesn't really look like a puzzle like we, we usually play with, alright? Usually puzzles have a lot more, a lot more uh, pieces, puzzle pieces, but this one only has seven. So how do we play this, alright? So I'm going to show you. Alright, okay, so how do you actually play this Chinese tangram or Chinese puzzle? Alright, so remember, <coughs> we have seven pieces of uh, seven puzzle pieces, alright, two big triangles, one medium sized triangle, two small triangles, one square, and one parallelogram. So, how do we play <coughs> with this puzzle? All right. So, <clears throat> Chinese tangram comes with a collection of diagrams or silhouettes, like I said before. So, what are these diagrams? What are these silhouettes? All right. <clears throat> Remember in our guessing games uh, that we have the shape like a shadow. So that those are what we call diagrams and silhouettes. All right. So I have four more examples here. So that's one. Two, three, and four. <clears throat> All right. So these four, these four pictures here, are what we call diagrams or silhouettes. So in Chinese tangrams, the objective is we have to uh, <clears throat> arrange the puzzle pieces to make these. To make these diagrams or silhouettes so we have to arrange our puzzle pieces so that it fits it fits the silhouettes all right so if you're still uh if you still don't understand <clears throat> how um this how this is going on don't worry because we are going to uh make one we're going to play with Chinese tangram, we're going to make one silhouette using the puzzle pieces together. I'm going to show you how. All right, don't worry, don't panic. <clears throat> Miss Sarah's here, and I'm going to show you the way. All right, okay, so let's continue. All right, so like I said, the goal of the game is to use all, all seven pieces. You cannot use six. You cannot use five, you cannot use four, you have to use all seven pieces to form the same shape as one of the diagram. Alright, so we are going to do this with one diagram. Alright, so we're going to choose the last one, this one. Alright, so we are going to play with Chinese tangram <clears throat> and we're going to try to make this shape using the seven pieces all right are you ready i am are you ready all right let's start but first ta -da! let's make it bigger because that picture previously is too small so if you make it bigger it will make it much easier to <clears throat> see how we uh, put the shape together. All right, so we have the diagram here We have the diagram here Where's my yeah, we have the diagram here. Okay, no seven pieces. All right, so first come out Ta -da! All right, so we have the seven pieces here. All right, so let's check one two three four five seven all right, but hmm, <clears throat> it's white. I mean, it's okay, but it's 
it's dull. Alright, this one, this diagram is already white. So let's color. Let's put some color on our puzzle pieces. Alright. Okay, do you know what object that has seven colors? You know? It's a rainbow. Rainbow have seven colors. So why don't we color the puzzle pieces with the rainbow? With a rainbow color. Alright, all seven colors of the rainbow. So let's do that. Alright, so let's color the first pieces red. Then second color is orange. And then the third color is yellow. Okay, then next one is green. Next one is blue. And we'll have one indigo. And the last one is purple. Perfect. Alright, so now that we have colored our seven pieces of puzzle, now let's use these seven pieces of puzzle to make this shape. Alright, this shape. Alright, I think this one looks like a triangle, isn't it? Looks like a small triangle. So why don't we use this one first? Let's make this triangle first. Alright, so boop. There you go. Alright, so one triangle done. Alright, so now let's look. Maybe this one looks like a square. And this one looks like a parallelogram. Maybe. What about the body though? Hmm. Let's try <coughs> put one of the big triangles. Okay? Let's try to put one of the big triangles. And go! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. Okay, we make the square first. Okay, the face. Alright, so we have the face there. Hmm. Okay, so that's there. Next pieces would be... The ears. Oh, the ears. The ears is the parallelogram. We put it there. Okay, now let's look at the body, I think. Let's make the body now. Yes, alright, so that's one of the big triangles there. Okay, next one, I think, I think it's triangle, another triangle, a big triangle over here. Let's try that. That's right, yes. I'm not sure why this one <laughs> moves as well, just ignore that. But yay, so I think we're on the right track here. So, hmm, what about this one though? We have two triangles left. And we have this shape. Maybe both of them are triangles? Okay, let's look. Okay, yeah, that's one triangle. And... Yay! We did it! Wow! Yay! So yes, we did it! Look at that! We have made a shape of a bunny using all the seven pieces of Chinese tangram. Fantastic! Give a clap! Thank you for helping me! Alright? Okay, so that is how you play the Chinese tangram. So you have to use all seven pieces of the puzzle to make a shape okay it doesn't matter what shape it is it could be an animal like a rabbit a cat it could be an object you can make a rocket i mean sorry you can make a rocket or a car or a boat okay you can make a house just make sure that you use all seven pieces of the puzzle to uh, make the shape all right so yes that's how you play the chinese tangram so next we are going to look at your task how to complete your task in your english module for your pdpr at home all right 
don't go anywhere. All right, so that is how you play with Chinese hand grab. So thank you for helping me make the shape. So uh, now that we've done, we have complete our guessing game. We've played our guessing games. We've also learned about Chinese tangram. All right, we know what Chinese tangram is, and we've also learned how to play with Chinese tangram. Okay, we've made the bunny earlier, and then now, now I'm going to show you how to complete your English module for your TDPR at home. All right, so. For your uh, task, for your module in, for your task in your English module for PDPR at home, we are going to do task three. Sorry, task one and task two in page three. All right, All right. So page three. Make sure you open to page three. Okay. So let's look at task one. So what are you going to do with task one? I have given you two sets of Chinese tangram. All right, two sets of Chinese tangram. So for task one, task one, I want you to use one. Use one set of Chinese tangram and form the shape of this silhouette. All right. <clears throat> so I've given you two, two pieces of. Alright, sorry, two sets of Chinese tangram. That means you have 40, not seven, you have not seven, you have 14 pieces, 14 pieces of puzzles. Alright, just use one set to make this shape. Alright, okay, make uh, <clears throat> use the puzzle to make this shape. Alright, so uh, what I'm, uh, what I want you to do, let me repeat. Okay, first, okay, this Chinese tangram that I've given you is white. So, what I want you to do, number one, number one is color, <clears throat> color the Chinese tangram. You can use, you can use any any color that you want. Uh, you can use your favorite color. It doesn't have to be um, the rainbow color that I have used before you can use any color that you want all right so number one number one color color the chinese tangram all right number two number two you need to cut <clears throat> all right you need to cut the chinese tangram all right cut the chinese tangram so that you have two big triangles one medium sized triangle two small triangles, one square, and one parallelogram. <clears throat> Alright, so cut. So number one, color. Number two, cut. And number three, make the shape. <clears throat> Alright, make the shape. Make sure you arrange all the puzzle pieces to make the shape of this boat. Alright, make the shape of this boat. Alright, after you have done, after you have finished making the shape of the boat, I want you to use your glue, use your glue, paste it. <clears throat> paste it in your module. Alright, module. So that is task one. Alright, task one. So again, I will repeat. Number one, color. Number two, cut. Number three, arrange the shape. And number four, paste in your module. Alright? So I hope you understand that is task one. Okay, let's look at task two. <clears throat> Alright, so task two, still in page three. Alright, your task for task 2 is to use the other set. Okay, you have two set. You've used one for the boat. Now, 
use the second set of the tangram to create your own your own object or animal all right so <clears throat> you can make anything you can make a house you can make a car you can make a rocket you can make a crocodile if you can you can make a giraffe or swan you can make anything but you must use all seven pieces of the puzzle all right <clears throat> make sure you use all the seven pieces of the puzzle to make your object or animal all right you can use the internet as a reference if you have some troubles or you can also use your imagination or creativity to make your object or animals all right <clears throat> so uh, again the same as before <clears throat> all right so make sure the second set of tangram what you have to do is number one you have to color number two you have to cut and number three you have to make your own shape make your own shape uh, of, of object or animal and finally you have to paste it in your module so you can paste it here okay in this area in this blank space all right so for this part in at the bottom <coughs> excuse me for this part at the bottom what i want you to do is to write a little bit about what you have made all right write a little bit about what you have made and then tell me tell me <coughs> write about it um the colors that you use for your chinese diagram all right so i'll give you an example i'll give you an example <coughs> all right so this is just an example you don't have to make another rabbit you like i said you can make a rocket you can make a car you can make a house you can make a flower you can make a cat if you want you can make anything you don't have to make <coughs> this rabbit again all right so i want to see your creativity i want to see your imagination all right so uh for example this is for example i've used the previous picture that we've played with which is the diagram of the rabbit <clears throat> all right so this is how i write okay okay so i write this is a rabbit okay because it is a rabbit okay this is a rabbit okay now next one <coughs> Excuse me right it is red orange yellow green blue indigo where's my oh no <laughs> okay sorry <clears throat> okay my cursor keeps disappearing where are you all right there you go <clears throat> all right so again it is red orange yellow green blue indigo and purple all right so this is an example of what you need to do for task two all right so that is it for today <clears throat> i hope you have fun learning about chinese tangram with me and <clears throat> excuse me oh i'm having a, a bit of a sore throat today all right so i hope you have uh, you have fun you had fun learning about Chinese tangram with me and <clears throat> I will see you in the next lesson all right thank you and bye bye